If you were early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will be in space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill compares to nothing. Yeah, this their life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. We out here, ladies and gentlemen, day before Easter. We're gonna go out here, see if we can hammer some bluegills. Yes, sir, got some people call me. They need some fish for Easter get together, so they called the right man with the right plan, ladies and gentlemen. Me and CJ came out yesterday and we hammered them pretty good. We had to look for them, but we found a nice little uh, holster that was holding some big bluegill, man. I'm talking about, we caught some big ones yesterday, didn't we, CJ? Big ones. I didn't film it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, but I got my cameraman out here today. He got his bass pole with me, so I'm gonna take him, let him do a little bass fishing after we get done with this segment. But y'all stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go and throw some tight lines out. I'm gonna go back to the spot where I found the big bluegills at yesterday. Hopefully they still hanging out there today. And boy, y'all know what time it is, boy. Slide life, baby. We out here. Another boat episode. Love y'all. Y'all stay tuned now. First cast, ladies and gentlemen. I just threw it out there and look. Ooh, look at that bluegill. They still here. Ooh. Y'all know I ain't lying. Look, ladies and gentlemen. Me and my son just tied on. I have no other poles out. I just threw this pole out and they still sit right there. If you guys look at my finger, right here, ladies and gentlemen, right in front of those bushes right there, they stacked in there, man. What's stacked in there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we out there. First cast. My son couldn't even get the camera fast enough, man. I was telling him, man, he already gone here, son. Look at that. That's a bluegill, ladies and gentlemen. Certified slab. Now, stay tuned, huh? Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all where I'm casting. Let me get him in the ice. Down, ladies and gentlemen, he grabbed it. Here we go. And this is my outside pole. This is the pole I'm using to throw on the outside of them, and I got two poles that I'm throwing on the inside of those lilies right there. But the outside pole, boy, she started showing out yesterday before she heated up. It looks like she's coming to show out again today. this time but it's a patch of algae out there too I mean, you have to stay out of that algae be right on the outside of that algae patch and I think how that pole's bending right there right now I think I'm in it right now in that algae but I'll fix it in a minute tight line fishing also. Now if I was limited to some bobbers or something, I'd be all over the place. Trying to fight that wind at the same time. But by me having those three eighths of an ounce. Oh, look at there. There's another one. I told y'all, ladies and gentlemen, they don't let it sit too long. That's how I know. This is a big one too. Oh, if I can turn him around. He's trying to get in them limits. I turn him around, I think. Woo! -hoo! Look at there. Look at there. Look at there, look at there. And check out the beautiful little spots on him. 
Y'all see them, them little spots on them? Ain't he beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Let me let the people see you, man. Look at them spots all over them. Ain't he beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Now that's a slab. Yeah, this ain't just tackle box. That's a slab. That's a slab right there, ladies and gentlemen. We gonna call him Magilla Gorilla. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at the packs. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Where I'm throwing that man. They sitting there. They definitely sitting there. That's how I know that orange one right there. She in the muck right now because she would have been got hit. Watch this. I'm gonna throw this one back out there and see how long it take again. I caught maybe two shell cracker out the hole. It's mostly filled up with bluegill. And they're already fertilizing on me when I'm grabbing them. So I'm thinking this right here is a little early uh, nesting ground for them built right here. So y'all already know this June, this May and June when they really start bedding up, I already done found me a bedding area right here that I'm gonna sit here and hammer them. All right, let's get back out here. Oh, yes, it does. See that algae right there, ladies and gentlemen? That green stuff, they don't want that on there. They don't, like, they don't want no, uh, no uh, salad with the uh, meat. I think I hit it pretty good just then. Lighten up my line a little bit. Sometimes they be pulling it in your hand before, as you guys seen, before you can even sit it down. I keep telling you guys, see all the algae on there? I can feel it. I know when I'm clear of it and I know when I got it on there. And I don't want it. I don't want no uh, salad on that worm. I know they want it straight up. Beautiful. Right there. Right there. Now that might get hit in my hand. going on ladies and gentlemen y'all know what time it is y'all stay tuned ladies and gentlemen we're gonna get ready to tear them up and you best believe that slap like me and y'all look forward to the episode right after this one too. i'm gonna take cj around the edges i'm gonna troll around the edges nice and slow for him and i'm gonna let him do a little bass fishing all right so hopefully we can shoot a double today but y'all stay tuned now these poles getting ready to bend over and you best believe that slap like me Right on this pole right here, ladies and gentlemen. You getting it? I think he on there. Yeah, he's there. I'm gonna hook him. I got him too. And it's still like a nice one. So he might have it swallowed because I couldn't tell if he was there or not. Oh yeah, nice bluegill.
Bottom rigs in the wind, ladies and gentlemen. I've been noticing though, y'all been y'all been listening to me about them three apes of an ounce, cause I've been noticing in my Walmart here locally, boy, y'all been buying them up. I had to wait two days and wait for them to get a fresh batch of them, and I went and bought ten packs. Just to let y'all know, I'm doing it like y'all doing it. Y'all done found out about them three apes of an ounce, boy, y'all going to buy them by the pack. And I love that. I hope it's catching y'all some fish. But as you guys can see, them three eighths of an ounce, ladies and gentlemen, we on a windy day, man. The wind cutting right across us in it. It ain't stopping nothing, ladies and gentlemen. I can still see. Well, you would have to know the difference from a wind movement. See how that tip move a little bit in the wind? And from a movement of a fish. You get what I'm saying? See, I know the difference, ladies and gentlemen. When I see that tip, bump, bump. That's a fish. The wind ain't gonna bump, bump. The wind will have it swaying a little bit. But when you ever see your tip, bump, 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 knock him down. Hey, Royalty King, if you're watching this video, go ahead and put it in the comment section if I'm lying. I took Royalty King out when I first started this channel, him and his wife. And me and his wife was out there playing around. And I was trying to tell him when to set the hook, when the best time to set the hook. And we came up with this slogan called Bop, Bop, Pool. Ladies and gentlemen, it's no joke. It works. When me and her start saying the bop bop pool, she would not miss any other fish. Ask Royalty King. He usually catch every episode. Put in the uh, comment section down there. Uh, Royalty and let the people know I ain't lying to him. Bop bop pool, ladies and gentlemen. If y'all use that, it will work. Bop bop pool. And you got him. He going to beat up, ladies and gentlemen. And you better believe that. Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and get him on ice. Get him wearing back up. Get him back out there in the zone. And I want y'all to stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We got more fish to catch, and you best believe that. Slap like baby. Whoa. Fight. I got it. One of them big ones. Uh oh, he's trying to take me off me. He's the lightest line. I got it. He got me right in him, too. Oh, he got me in him. I him out though, didn't I? Look at that. Ooh, my goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen, look at that blue gill there. My, 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 my. Just take a look at that for a second. Just take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Do y'all see that blue gill? Whoa. Whoa. Tight line, baby. Look at that. Fertilizing on me, y'all missed it, boy. Oh, get it by here, get it by here, y'all. Catch it one more time on the stick. Here we go, here we go. I got two dips. Look at that being in that raw, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this being in that raw. So y'all know we got something nice, nice, nice. He ain't all that big. Uh oh, we got it up. She broke. Perfect time for a lesson, right? Male, right here. Female, right here. That's what keeps them generations of bluegills are going and going and going. We call these, the females, we call them brim. And we call these hill bulls, big old bluegills. My daddy liked to call them hubcaps. <laughs> so we're gonna get the sheep brim off first. Look at that, look at how she got my worm in her mind. Give me my worm back. I'm gonna be nice. Love the ladies. Go ahead and lay up some eggs. And lay them right up in there, cause I see she out there looking at these cuties right here. Look, look, look. This is what she called them cuties. Cause these boys here, they be lifting weights. As you guys can see, he's packing. You know what I'm talking about? He's packing. He ain't lacking, he's packing. Boy, I lift this weight, my boy packing. Look at him, look at his chest. Oh, what you talking about? Yeah, for all my people that never knew, this guy builds the nest, guards the nest, sit there and flex all day long. That female I just let go, she go by, because it could be a colony of thousands of them, depending on the lake. It could be a couple hundred, it could be just 50 of them, but there's going to be different bedding grounds all over the lake. It's not just one. 
All the bluegills just don't colonate all in one area and say, oh, we spawning. No, 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 no. There's different spawns going on in different areas. And boy, if you get the right colony, you get in the right spawning colony, you could be sitting on thousands of bluegills. And you could just sit there hammering them back to back. Boom, 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 boom. But that ain't what we're talking about. He builds it, the females come through, and they have all those different males to pick from. Who flexing the most? Who got the best looking nest? You understand what I'm saying? And whichever one she picks, she goes in there, she lays her eggs, she deposits her eggs on his nest. You get what I'm saying? He fertilizes it. She leaves. He protects the fry, which are baby fish. He protects the eggs. He can bake them and everything. Make sure he fills his nest in the best places where he can get some sun penetration on it because the more sun penetration, the faster the eggs will hatch. Okay? We talking two to three days. You get what I'm saying? He'll sit there and protect those fry when they little itty bitty ladies and gentlemen and wait till they get big enough where they can get out here on their own and hide in these lilies and little places on the edge like up in here and they sit there and they feed on microbes and things like that until they get big enough to come out here and turn into one of these and then the, the cycle just continues ladies and gentlemen then professor slabs go either be sitting on the milk crate on the bank or he's gonna be right here in his uh slab life express and gonna be dropping them beautiful worms all in their face and gonna be knocking the dust off of them and you best believe that. Slide life, baby. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle you can taste. It's a lifestyle that two or more can enjoy. Boy. Slide life, baby. Y'all stay tuned. Some young male. See his crown just starting to come in. This the one I got thrown right here along the edge, like literally right here in front of the boat. He ain't far out at all. Another yellow and he hit that in my hand. Slack a little bit. And as I was reeling up the slack, I felt the boot. And let them do the rest, ladies and gentlemen. Sit out for a while, I'll do the two or three cranks. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a lot of strikes just by doing that. Just running it a couple times to sit it down, fish them, grab it. Perfect. You make the green. Boy, oh, she's short and fat, eh? Y'all, where I'm throwing this rod right here at, man, they've been busy, man. Quite often. Barely seated down. I'm throwing it not far from the boat at all. Not far at all. Strump, boy. Got one of my 
Oh, that's just a big old shell cracker. Look at that, what we got for a shell cracker, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, got it. We tangled up mother pole, but boy, we ain't worried about that. That was double ways of catching it. He wasn't going nowhere. Y'all spew me. The owl can't make it no better. Okay, now let's see what we got here. Okay. Y'all excuse me, y'all excuse me. Okay, let's see how we got it. That's out. Make sure that's being good. Nah, look at that. Oh, you almost got me then, buddy. Right in the lip. Turf time! You gotta love it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that belly again. You like to stick a foot. For sure that was a big one, how he was hitting it, man. When they had that tip and they pulling it slow like that right there, that'd be a big one. We see it go boom, 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 real fast. That'd be them little ones, man. Man, man, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I thought we did. We almost ran through a couple worms officially, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go to another cup. That's the third fish I, I missed out there, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all want to hear some truth? I had a phone call from my brother. As soon as I answered the phone, she bent over slowly. Bent over, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I missed that one, got mad about it, told him about it. And um, past time passed. My mother-in-law just called me a few minutes ago. Love you, Don. Me and her talked on the phone. While we on the phone, same pole, orange one. Bend over. I stick him, I feel him. He was big, boy. I'm trying to make sure I don't drop the phone in the water, so I'm trying to sit the phone down and drop the phone, ladies and gentlemen, that fish got off. So, I'm not having any luck today. With Orange Crush, what y'all out there, my viewers, what my beautiful uh, subscribers named her, Orange Crush, she out here crushing it. But boy, I'm crushing her spirit. And I just did it again. Third time in a row. But she tilted over again. I believe you me. He coming to the high, ladies and gentlemen. He coming to the high. Y'all stay tuned. Slap like beef. That's why they call it fishers and not catchers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to do a special shout out to my neighbors, Eric and Christy Martindale, ladies and gentlemen. Forgive me with this right here. I look just like my mascot, Barbara the Slab, like Barbara, ladies and gentlemen. This is a cooler. And not only is it a cooler, but it floats just like a barber, ladies and gentlemen. And I love this cooler. As you guys can see, open it up. Drinks in there, Gatorade, Snapples, all kind of stuff. Soda, and it'll keep your drinks away from the fish ice. But when you be drinking, you don't be tasting bluegill and brim. You know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? I love this thing right here. It keeps my beer ice cold, keeps my sodas ice cold. And if it was to, able, if it was to ever fall over on accident, it uh it floats. So thank you, Eric. Thank you, Chrissy. I love it. Perfect little boat cooler for me. And it has a handle, ladies and gentlemen. Slap like beef. Got a 
got a fish right here. Right here. It might be a shell cracker. Big shell Do it. Why is it doing that? Very big shell. Um, is that a male? Like a female, a little light color. Okay, then a female. Fat. They're coming out to play too today. Shelly's, look at that. I was trying to show you all the equipment on the tackle box. Is hey, look at my son, got his chips and everything all on the deck. I can't reach him. There we go. Five moments later. Yeah. Look, we got a bite. I got y'all. You going all right? Let's rinse him. Let's rinse him off. Now nah, he's more pretty. Y'all stay tuned. Bluegill. Right. So? Yep. See? Bluegill on me. Let's see if I can work him out. I see splashing, so he was drunk. And you was wrong. Shell cracker. A female shell cracker? I don't know, but I'm letting him get back in them lilies trying to be all fancy. Sometimes you can't turn him around. There's a damn boy, you talking about a fight. Well, mm, splashing. I think it's a school of shell cracker. It might be a male here. See how vibrant that red ear is? Look at that. Dang it. It's a big fish. Yes, sir. Uh, this is what our grandpas and grandmas used to be chasing out there with them long bamboo sticks, boy. Out there with them jumpers, ladies and gentlemen, with them crickets or with them worms they done dug in the yard. They ain't go to Walmart like how we got the convenience. They go to Walmart and buy them red worms. My grandma them used to get in a ditch. She said she kept some leaves in there all the time, man, when it rained. And it don't flood the ditch, man. You get down in there, or especially after a flood, after the flood of the ditch, and the ditch re dry, man, you get in there and dig all that dirt nice and soft, man, and get some of the biggest earthworms. Y'all put in the comment section if y'all ever fish with earthworms. I'm gonna do a segment on that. I used to have a good spot back in the day, man, where I used to dig some worms off this drain. But they, you know how life is, man. It goes on and they end up filling some houses and stuff there. So I don't know if I'm gonna be fucking. Go back and uh, uh, eat worms on her property. I'm out of here. yeah, I'm gonna uh, show you guys how I get a tater rake. Tater rake or a. Uh, garden hole ladies and gentlemen and get out there and scrape them leaves or scrape right on top of some nice soft dirt and catch some big old earthworms only thing i'm gonna say about earthworms that i did not like too much is that they break up a little bit more than the worms that you buy in the store and they, and they tend to put a lot more of that black ink on you but other than that i love them they, it's like the fish can smell them you, you go because all that ink that's on the inside they definitely throw off a smell when you uh insert that hook in him and get him out there and those fish can smell that uh that old firm and they coming to get it ladies and gentlemen i've had a lot of fun growing up before i was able to go to walmart and buy worms myself ladies and gentlemen i used to go and dig them and that was the best fun we ever had y'all stay tuned ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna go and make this rod up and get it out there Me and CJ are 
DJ went and ironically my grandpa was in there. I went and got me two slabs of pork ribs and two slabs of uh, baby back ribs. And went and got some uh, drumsticks. And I already got them seasoned up and in the refrigerator. So they're going to be able to sit for a little while and let them season it all the way down to the bone. And boy, tomorrow we're going to be barbecuing while Mama Slabs, her mother, and the family is going to be on a ferry boat. They're going on a ferry boat tomorrow, ride for about two hours, and they're going to be going out from the river all the way out to the uh, bay, and they're going to go to an island and all this type of stuff. So I'm going to be at home barbecuing, ladies and gentlemen, so I had to get some fishing out the way. Y'all know that. But uh, y'all stay tuned. Let me go ahead and bait up, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to get back out here and catch some more of these big old sheriff right here. You better believe that. Slap like baby. Bluegill on me. Yes. Big old sheep bro. Look at that. Bluegill. Starting to have some fun, now ladies and gentlemen. That little breeze feels so good. It does. It does. Not that cold, not that hot, just right. Stay tuned. It's right out here, ladies and gentlemen, sitting back with the sun. Drink your cold one if you like to. Keep you some waters and Gatorades and juice and stuff too, man. But uh. It's all about enjoying life, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's all about to me, man. And I love it. You understand me? I told my wife, Mama Slab, that this boat right here is going to get me in a lot, a lot, a lot of mess with her. Because it's like I walk down the aisle with her. I just love this boat, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on it every, time, every chance I can get. Y'all done seen what I can do on the bank. Now I'm gonna show y'all what I can do on this here John boat, ladies and gentlemen, because my dad raised me on the John boat. Always wanted one, so I was just thankful and thankful for being able to have one and call it my own. That's what it's all about. And then get my boys out. But it's only gonna get better, ladies and gentlemen. And you guys can leave that. But y'all stay tuned. We got more fish to catch. I'm about to need to bend on no like now. I gotta talk to him like that, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all stay tuned. Slap like baby. See that? Look at the fertilizer. Yeah, they fed in that early. Day before Easter, boy. Look at this now. Woo! 
that like that. Oh boy, I got this one now. We're talking about King Kong. Look how he lay on this. Look how big he is. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Let me lift him, get him in here before he get away. Look at that. Boy, I wish y'all could have seen that hit. Boy, he tried to take it out the boat. Barely got him. Look, look, I ain't hook him. As you can see that, he hooked himself. That's how hard he pulled it. That's how hard he hit it. Now, when them bluegills show up, boy, if it's anything like yesterday, boy, it's finna get ready to get started. It's finna be some fun to be had, man. He was just sitting there with it. He put it one time and let it go. So I think the blue girl showed up. Well, showed back up, anyways. Remember, I was catching them good in the beginning, and uh, once the shell got the screen came through, it kind of stopped the blue girl. I'm thinking the blue girl just showed back up. Because they're more of a. Uh, constant fight when they're here. See, look, I just got hit in my hand. Some hit in my hand. I got it. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. He feels like a big one. I told you once they show up, I told you what it is. Look at that. I got him down to a science, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I'm a professor. When they show up, it's more constant. When the shellcrackers show up, they take their time, they bougie. They take their time to eat the shellcrackers do. But I get with them too. I serve just enough for them too. Like that. I'm gonna pass out there again in front of y'all. I know some people out there, ladies and gentlemen, I see on YouTube hook they were in one time just like that. I, I just don't feel like I'm um, getting my money for it like that. And I wrap mine on this hook just like this, and I usually put one or two. I make it real juicy for them. That's what the big boys like, the big girls like. You know how they're squirming all around, ladies and gentlemen. I want them fish seeing up under there. They seeing all that squirm action and them bass and everything else. Catfish and they is, boy, they gonna pick it up. You know what I'm saying? So let's get back right here again. Uh-oh. I got to see that on camera too, boy. That's messed up too, ladies and gentlemen. It'll take me a second to get it out of here. So, yep, I messed up too. looking for an immediate hit as soon as it hit the water but I definitely want to get back on my hole while I do they sit there for sure. Wham right there. Right there a little closer. Now I got it. Now I got 
might be some knowledge. Fishing position. And I've been throwing this one right here, right up under that branch I got. Y'all been seeing it. Oh, man, that's no risk of big old blue deal, yeah. Thank you. Mm. That. Whoa. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Right here, day before Easter, catching some of these big old blue gills. I'm talking about some big ones, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed catching them, ladies and gentlemen, because it was an absolute ball. Love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And if you guys don't remember anything, I want you to remember this. If you have to ask, you are not living. And if you're not living, you're not fishing. Fly life, baby. It's a lifestyle that I present and bring a lifetime of memories. And you can take that to the bank, ladies and gentlemen, or the dog, as long as you got a pole in your hand. God bless y'all. I love y'all. And to the next time, the professor is checking out. <laughs> is checking out. Slap. If you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, <laughs> even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will be in the space. When the barber goes down the target, this thrill could be nothing. Yeah, it is their life for loving Cause you're dealing with some fishermen